This is a video tutorial on rigging shooting lines for spear guns. For this tutorial, you will need line material, two crimps, bungee cord, sharp clip, a crimping tool, and pliers. First, we attach the bungee cord by threading it to the attachment and looping around itself. If you are using this with a shooting line reel, you need to first thread the line through the attachment point from the front. Then we tie the bungee cord to the line. Something like a fisherman's knot could be used here. Use a set of pliers to tighten the knot. Then reel the bungee cord to the front end of the barrel. If you are using a nylon shooting line with crimps, we want to thread one crimp through before threading the line through the rear end of the spear shaft, then back into the crimp. SFP spear shafts have two holes. Using the forward hole helps prevent snagging with the locking mechanism. We then use the crimping tool along the crimp, securing the line to itself. Fit the shaft in and loop the shooting line to the front catch. And in the case of the Cobia spear gun, up, over the spear, around and down to the bottom catch. Then back to the rear. Then to the end of the bungee cord. Cut the length of the shooting line with an additional inch in the line. Flip the crimp into the line, thread it through the shark clip and use the crimp to form a loop around the shark clip. The bungee cord should have slight tension to prevent slack in the line. And those not using a reel should form a second loop as demonstrated in the next part of the video. For those using a woven nylon cord, first use a torch to lightly deburr and round the end of the cord. This will help you thread the line through the shaft hole. Flies may help you pull the line through. A fisherman's knot again here could be used to tie the end around. Again use pliers to help tighten the knot so it's secure. Thread the length of the line to the front of the spear gun in the usual fashion. In this case, to the side, up, around and down to the bottom catch. Then to the rear catch. In this example, we are showing that how it's done without a reel, requiring a second loop. Pull around to the front. Back to the rear catch and to the bungee cord. Cut the line with an additional 2 inches to form a loop and knot. Then deburr and round lightly with a torch. The second loop will help out with the spear shaft range. Tie the knot around the shaft clip strongly with the fisherman's knot and use pliers to help tighten. Thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to check out our line of products at spearfishesparadise.com.au